You um, live in Dayton, Ohio. You were walking district to the Oregon district, where walking distance to the Oregon district, where that mass shooting took place in August. I don't know what we get from this, but I know you saw this on Thursday night with Ben O'Rourke at that debate in Houston. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. Five days later, Republicans and Democrats are saying that did not hurt the cause. Do you think we get something in terms of? legislation that the president can't agree on? And if so, what's that look like? Well, I think what Beto says is as nuts as it looks. And we certainly don't want to criminalize um, you know, average uh, citizens and law-abiding citizens. But I, there are actions that need to be taken. You know, in the Dayton, Ohio incident, uh, the tragedy where nine people died and 27 people were injured, and, and thank God for the police who took very quick action and, and killed the mass shooter in 32 seconds. That uh, sh mass shooter had passed a, um, a background check. Uh, so background checks are, are not the panacea of fixing everything. Um, but you Can know, I just stop you there? So the, the background checks for commercial sales that had been considered and did not pass after Sandy Hook six years ago is now being considered yet again today. And you're saying even it were, if it were the law, well, those were expanded. This shooter would not have been stopped. <clears throat> those are expanded background checks. He actually passed a background check in the purchase of the weapon that he used. Um, so it shows that you know we really need to look at, at a whole scale approach and response here. You know, some of it is mental health, um, as we hear in most of these stories after the fact. Uh, this is an individual who told others he wanted to be a mass shooter. Even in high school, he had lists of people he wanted to kill. People knew this, uh, but there was no action taken against him. And then uh, you know we had the unbelievable tragedy that unfolded. Yeah. Uh, they're suggesting, well, many are suggesting the juvenile records that end when you turn 18 should not end. They should carry over into adulthood. I, I think after the tragedy you witnessed, you'd probably agree with that. Well, and even in adulthood, he showed signs and people were well aware of, of his interest in committing mass murder. Uh, we need to be able to take action. We need to be able to empower our law enforcement uh, to, be, to be able to receive information. And I think it'll make us safer. And sir, it's good to see you again. Mike Turner.